15 minute meditation and stretch. It's kind of an active way to meditate. Welcome, welcome. If you have a release tool, whether you're gonna use a bottle, you can also use a block or a weight. There's different techniques I'll show you. But we're gonna use those release tools that are stretches today. Sit up nice and tall. Bend your knees enough that your belly can touch your thighs in a seated forward fold. Let your head and neck relax to the best of your ability. Tuck your chin hard into your chest so the back side of your cervical muscles get a really nice stretch. The reason I say bend your knees is because it's important to feel leverage in the low back. If your legs are straight, it's going to tug too much on your low back. A little bend in your knees is so nice and delicate. It helps take the tension out of your low back and it gives a little bit of it to the hamstrings. So as you stay here, each pose is going to be about a 90 second hold. We're aiming to cool and calm the body. Or if you're doing this more in the morning time, it's like an energizer. We're just opening and resetting. Take five deep breath cycles and pay attention to the rhythm of your breath. Can you inhale so big that your ribs expand sideways? And then you exhale, deflate your abs and just fold in. Yeah, stay with me. Just because you showed up today, you're already doing what I call spiritual conditioning. We don't always want to do the stretch or always take the time to do this, but the conditioning of this builds mental fortitude. It's so important to create balance. If you're someone that goes, goes, goes all the time, this is a way where you'll actually gain energy because you're cooling and calming the nervous system to go back into your healing state. All right, team, a few options. Seated twist, take your right foot either straight to the ground or if you're more open in your hips, cross it over your leg. Lift your left arm to the sky and twist. Use the back side of your left arm to push against your leg. Look over your right shoulder. For a lot of us, this is gonna be perfect. You're getting that little spinal twist that makes the whole digestive tract light up. If you want more of an IT band stretch, the outer part of your leg, Grab your right hand to your foot and extend it up and out. As you kick and extend, don't forget about the twist. What's more important to me in this first stretch is the twist in your torso. Now there's a reason that each of your muscles are talking to you. You may feel an extra pull or a tug here or there. Your body is trying to tell you something. It has a narrative. Pay attention and sink into that space. Go to the place where there's the dull ache. Inhale. Exhale. Three deep breaths. What a cool thing it is that we get to breathe together. What a great day it is to be breathing. And I think we often forget that. So as I gear up for a big weekend where I'm gonna see family, I get in my head a little bit. I start already pouting like, a dumb teenager girl. I feel my hormones like already wanting to flare up in reaction and resistance. I have a really nice family. It's just sometimes I turn into the same girl who left New Jersey 16 years ago. I like back date to that time. Ooh, okay, come through center. Take your release tool. Uh, Grace, I'm going to give you the block. I'm going to use my tequila bottle. You can also use your weight. That's a lot more intense. Put it under your right hamstring. Put it under the meat of your leg, so not at the hip bone and not at the knee bone, in the center. Hands beside you, push into your left foot and kind of either roll if you can roll. Grace, she's got her block a little higher, Grace, so it's on the medium level. And then I'm gonna have you go this way, sideways. Uh -huh. So I had her go sideways, just like my bottle, and now she's just gonna lift her butt up and lean forward into it. Get a little tension. If you've got the weight, you could always do it like this guy. Put it under the back side of the hamstring. Hold on, that's intense. Into the belly of the beast, that beautiful hamstring. But I'm realizing the more I go and see my family, because I don't often get to see them, the more that I'm doing spiritual reps like this, when we rep our biceps with bicep curls, the bicep gets stronger. 
When we rep stretching your hamstring, your hamstring gets more open. But you don't just show up to yoga one day, feel open and flexible and don't ever have to go back. You don't show up to the gym and be like, oh, I look hot and not have to work on it. Everything that takes a little conditioning takes practice and showing up every day. So I'm noticing I've been out of practice with my spiritual strength, let's call it, my emotional strength. Whew. All right, let's take the other side. Remove the tool, straighten your right leg down, seated twist. Whether your foot's down on the ground, over the side, up and over. Sitting tall is a great option to like even push your arm against your leg. I like looking over my left shoulder to get my cervical. My neck is always so tight from the pressure and the tension I hold all week. Or grab your foot and take that kind of extended version. get flabby, let's call it, if we don't go to the gym, right? Like if you don't work out a little bit or do what we're doing, you get flabby. Gravity literally sags your muscles and your skin. <laughs> there is spiritual flabbiness too. There's, if we're out of practice of hard situations, situations that make us anxiety filled or resentful, anxious, insecure, sad, then we're out of, we're in spiritual flabbiness heavy because gravity's put all that on us and we forget what it takes the reps to come out of it and be a better version of ourselves three breaths keep twisting so as i endeavor into this new weekend this opportunity to rep my emotions i have written a few questions i ask myself in my journal things that help me stay accountable even when i be want to be a jackass Ooh. All right, let's take it to your back, please. Oh, excuse me. Uh, release tool on the left hamstring. So put your weight under it or the bottle, whatever you got. Put it under the belly of your left hamstring. Then you're going to lean in. Oh, so juicy. Whatever it is, there's a little bit of pressure on the back side of your leg. I love how Grace is even moving a little bit. That helps release the tension. It's a myofascial release. Mm -hmm. Leaning into the stretch. If you don't have a release tool, you're always welcome to just grab your leg. Do that seated forward fold. Or you can even lift your leg up. I've been out of practice of asking for help. So you know that my mom passed away when I was young. And I, I used to like talk to her a lot and pray to her. Maybe your guidance is like God or universe or love, whatever your spiritual practice is. I've been out of practice of asking for help. I used to ask her for help all the time. And I think in some way I felt more connected to something bigger than myself. All right, gently come down. Now bring that release tool to your back, please. We'll use it in a second. Happy baby, grab your ankles, rock side to side. Flatten your back against the ground. Your arms are on the inside of your legs. My elbows push against the inside of my legs. And the rocking is so nice. It's a massage for the backside of your kidneys. And there's adrenals on the tips of your kidneys, the adrenal glands. It's giving your endocrine system, the hormones, a little balance. It's relaxing that really tight low back that we often have. Once you feel really secure, find a still space. We're gonna hold it for a couple breaths. Every exhale, use the strength of your arms to pull your legs down. For my neck sensitivity people, this is gonna be where you stay for another 30 seconds. But if you're somebody that really likes plow, it's gonna be opening up your neck. I take my ponytail out, take your legs up and back, hands to the small of your back. What's important about plow is that your chin stays directly between your chest muscles. Feel all the length in your low back and hamstrings that we've been creating this whole class. So my accountability questions. One of them is, am I being the person that my dog thinks that I am? <laughs> my boyfriend's dog Lola loves me. Am I being the person that my dog thinks I am? That's one of them. And if I'm not, I gotta check myself. All right, slowly roll it down. 
Now you're gonna take the release tool under your neck. So whether it's a bottle or a block, put it behind the neck. You can use it with the weight, just be careful. And then you can lift your chest, your throat kind of is open in a butterfly pose. It's like a little neck pillow. If you have the block, you have grace, you can even go a little higher, I think. And then massage the occipital bone, like the base of your neck. So let me go like this, let your head bring it, and then like this. And then that edge of the block pushes against your skull and the back of your neck. If you like it, cool. If not, you can stay in butterfly pose. That's already a great stretch. Stay there. If it feels accessible in your neck to like roll or look side to side, your neck does love to twist. <laughs> so not just how your dog thinks you're gonna be, but am I the person that I needed when I was younger? When I journey back to that space that I feel insecure and not my best self, I ask myself, what did little Katie need? And am I being that person, the example that I needed when I was younger? So that we don't get emotionally or spiritually flabby. So we don't get stuck in our ways and always have to be right and dismissive. Opportunities like seeing family or whatever it is for you that might be a little resistant filled. It's a great opportunity for us to grow. And instead of dreading seeing my family, what if I looked at it as like a workout? I look forward to getting more toned in my workouts physically. Well, visiting my family is me getting excited to get more spiritually toned, more emotionally toned. All right, beautiful people. For our last pose in our stretch meditation, you can either do legs up the wall. If you have the accessibility for feet against a wall, it is really nice. It reverses varicose veins and helps prevent them. It also sends energy down. If that's not accessible in your body, Shavasana corpse pose, or even like an elevated fish, if you know what that is, just get comfortable. Fly with us. Palms open like you're about to hug somebody. Palms face up so that there's an anterior openness, the front of your chest and heart. So this morning, I was journaling and I just decided to ask my mom for help. Maybe it's ask, like setting a prayer or setting an intention. But sometimes I feel like my intentions are only me in the driver's seat. What if I could pray to the universe or something bigger that I don't understand for a little bit of help? Oh man, please universe, give me grace. Give me the opportunity to be humble and fun not take it too seriously and just enjoy it for what it is. And if I don't feel that way, which right now I don't, I ask for help. Please help me to feel it. One of my favorite lecturers once said, Marianne Williamson, it's not that the help isn't there, it's that we're not asking for enough. Because once you set the trajectory, once you ask for that help, the universe or whatever you believe in is going to start dropping things in your life that enable you to see more of it. And then I start looking for ways that my mom's helping me too. Let's use this last minute to set your mental prayer, hope, trajectory, whatever it is. And if you're like me where you need a little bit of help, ask for that too. sentences. May my choices be rooted in my spirit. My decisions be guided by my deepest depths. May all of my actions 
actions stem from love. And may my words be an extension of inner wisdom. Yay, mental fortitude. Let's gain some spiritual strength and get rid of the spiritual flabbiness. Take your arms over your head, inhale. Knees to your chest, roll onto your side for fetal pose. Let it be easy. Especially if you're in legs up the wall, take your time to come meet us at a seat. There's no rush. With gratitude in your posture, even a little bit of thank you for the fact that you can make it through the practice. A little bit more connected and definitely lighter. Bow forward. Namaste. Thank you, Grace. It was serendipitous that you were my demo today of how many times I said the word Grace. 